So I don't know if I'm gonna like kind of regret saying what I'm about to say, um, but I just thought I would like record this and make a video uh, because why not? You know, I'm just at home hanging out. Uh, came back from the movies. I watched The Curse of La Lorona. The Curse of La Lorona. That's what I can say, right? Uh, it was alright, you know. Um, it's you know something we all have seen before, you know. But anyways, yeah, I was just hanging out here at home, and I was thinking, you know, watching some videos, and uh, pretty much what I want to say is that I am. Well, first let me say this: I've never had like a girlfriend. Like when I say that, I say like I've never had like a relationship. You know, when it comes to like having something, I don't know, like a six month thing with a girl or a three month thing, not even like a one month thing, you know, like I just never had like a real relationship. Like, yeah, like I've dated girls before and stuff like that, but I've never had anything serious. And it's crazy because when I tell people that it's just kind of, it kind of comes to a shock to them, you know, like they, they can't believe it. Like I never even had like one, but, uh, yeah, it's true, but you know what? I used to always think that something like that was a curse, you know, because pretty much I've always wanted that since I was a little boy, you know, that was like my my number one, my number one desire, you know. <laughs> I don't know why, like it was just, like it's just who I am or how it was, you know. I would always like think about girls all the time, you know. And every school year I would always, you know, think about, you know, of all the pretty girls are are gonna be in that class, you know, and uh, yeah. So even though I never had a girlfriend, I used to always think it was a bad thing and it was a curse. But no, it it, it actually it isn't. You know, it was, it was actually a blessing in disguise the whole time. You know, when I say that, I mean that. It's just uh, I don't know, man. Like. Because since I've been single this entire time, I've had all this time to myself. I just wasn't using it right. You know, had I been using it right, who knows where I would have been today, you know? I could have, I don't know, had more money or maybe even have a house, gone to college, I don't know, man. But yeah, so it, it just kind of sucks that I wasted so much time, you know? Um, but it's okay though, because I'm so young. You know, I'm not even 30. You know, I still got a few more years until I hit that age, but I, at least from now on, I can go I, I can go forward and I know what to do. I have an idea what I want to do, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just feel bad that I still lost out on all those years. You know, just trying so hard to have somebody and when I wasn't trying to have somebody, I was just trying to, you know, uh, <laughs> be a man whore, you know, um, what most guys do. And I did, I did that for a while, you know? And you know, I had my fun, I'm not gonna lie, but um, always deep down, I always wanted to find that one somebody, you know? Like, like if I just ran to somebody, like, because I would always meet up with girls online, you know? Um, but yeah, um, it didn't happen, you know, obviously. But now, as of lately, like the past few months, None of that has really became an interest to me anymore. You know, like I just woke up, you know, I am now awake for real, man. And what I mean is that I don't have any desire to like go for anything at all. You know, like recently I discovered the MGTOW movement, you know, and um, man, it's really good stuff. You know, talk about taking the red pill and like just about men going their own way and, you know, uh, just, Pretty much not worrying about trying to get a girlfriend or even having, you know, like trying to get married or have children, you know, just none of that, you know, pretty much dropping women from their lives, but not completely. But for myself, I am in a way dropping women completely because I, I feel like I've wasted, I've already wasted enough time, you know, just on women, girls. So yeah, I'm just doing it. I may not do it forever, but I know for now, I. I have to do it, you know? Like, like in public, I don't even like glance around and look for a chick. I mean, <laughs> I try not to at least, you know? Like, cause I just do not want to be distracted anymore, you know? Like, I just don't. And, um, 
yeah, like now I just like a, a relationship. I just don't want one anymore. You know, like I don't care anymore. I, I don't care to love or be loved by a girl anymore. Like it just seems like it's just so much trouble to go through, you know? And even if you do find a girl that loves you, you know, like, does she really love you? You know, like, I've been watching some videos online and, you know, there's some that are saying like, oh, a woman can never love a man, you know, like, can really truly love you. Like, yeah, she might love you, but not the way you think she loves you. Like, it's totally different, you know, like, she'll just love you because she, uh, you provide her stuff or like a, a home or something or children, like, you could provide that. But if you mess up, like, she'll just leave, you know? But that's a totally different thing. Well, it's kind of related, but I don't want to get into that particularly. But yeah, man. Um, what else I could really say is that I, I'm not going to look anymore. Like, I don't want to. Like, I, I don't have the energy for it anymore. And I don't have the energy to care about it anymore. <laughs> You know, like, it, this is real, you know? And and in a way, this is really good for me, you know, because I've, I've, I've been needing this, you know? Now I can, like, focus and go for a certain career, you know, uh, make a change, because right now I'm working two jobs. And it's not that it's bad, but I know I don't want to do it forever, you know? And plus, I'm really terrible at saving, so it's like I'm working two jobs for nothing. So I really need to, like, get it together, so... I can start saving and like start doing something, you know. Um, but other than that, um, I'm pretty happy with myself, you know, because for one, I deleted all my dating apps, you know, like they're all gone, you know, and and it's really, it's really uh, good to say that I, I don't have a desire to like get back on there, you know. Man, like if I tell y'all like the stories like of girls that are on there that I met. Well, like, maybe not all in person, but man, like, uh, it's overwhelming, like, how how crazy the girls can be, man. Like, wow, like, I, I thought I thought of evil stuff, but man, that's, that's bad, you know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no more of that, you know, and I, I, I'm happy for it, you know, because I, I used to be on those things every single day, you know, like, every day, you know, like, from morning, I would get on it, and, like, you know, when my alarm goes off, you know, and I wake up in the morning and I'll turn it off and then I'll just hop on a dating app, you know, and see if I match with anybody or something. You know, it got pretty bad, you know, like, like, like an obsession, you know, like I was all, always thinking about it all the time. You know, I, I don't know, like, there's got to be like other people who like, who think like me, you know, like I can't be the only one like this, you know, because... I feel a little like, I don't know, like a weird person, you know, like an obsessive person, you know. So if there's any people who can relate, boy or girl, man, just like, let me know, like, you know, let's talk, <laughs> you know, I want to, I want some people to talk to Like, this is what I really want too, you know, like just to find and create this community, like where we could all just like get together and just like talk and, you know, just chat. Like, maybe have some, like, group FaceTimes, you know, like, something like that, you know. That'd be really cool, you know. That, that's what I really want now. Like, I want, I, yes, I still want a relationship, but, like, that kind, like a friendship relationship. If it's with a boy or a girl, you know, like, I'm not kicking women out completely, like, I, in that sense of, like, trying to love and get, like, be loved. Yes, I'm dropping that. But as far as like making friends and stuff like that, like, I mean, yeah, why not? You know, um, part of the MGTOW community is like, is like, like that, you know, like you don't want to like, uh, like take women out of your life completely, you know, that's just like being bitter. And I've been bitter for a long time too. So it's nice to like, let that go, you know? And uh, man, <laughs> I know there's like so much more I want to say. But um, I'm starting to shake. I don't know why, you know, but I just get a little overwhelmed sometimes. And um, yeah, like I said, it would be nice to like find someone who thinks like me, you know, like where we could just talk and like do be like a zero judgment. Like there's no limits and 
you know, anything goes and, you know, just that kind will be, something like that would be really cool. But I think I'm going to call it for now because now I'm just rambling and like trying to think of another topic and I can't. But if I do, I'll start recording again. But until then, um, I'll just be hanging out here, you know, probably stay up and play some Day by Daylight or something like that. But all right, guys, um, thanks again for listening and um, keep it too sweet. Good night.